The first night of the exciting new adventures of my friends Tiny and Small Clanger have begun with a bang tonight on CBeebies. And after a whole night of gazing up at the moon with Maggie and Chris and Robert the robot, we begin peacefully with the shots of space like in all episodes until... She comes! I meant the astronaut. She even has a teddy. Sweet. The rocket lands on the Clanger's planet. This receives an epic low-angle view of the music trees. Until finally we see my two Clanger friends and baby soup dragon in action. The astronaut steps out. My friends hide in the planet and doubt it until they come back outside again. She has a Blue Peter badge, that astronaut. Mainly because a few days ago, Blue Peter broadcast live from a space station. The trio decide to give the astronaut a present with Granny's help. And the astronaut turns out to be a human. She's Maggie! She's given a warm scarf by the Clangers. The astronaut is then given a smiling plant from Mother Clanger, and whoa, we've never seen a human face on the Clangers before. Major steps out and finds the rocket ship, which he climbs into and takes control, finding there are many buttons to press. One touch of a button and it's red alert. Major, panicked, runs out and the rocket lifts off into space until Maggie encounters Major. Maggie doesn't speak, but then makes peace with Major Clanger. The soup dragon gives Maggie some warm soup. But the poor astronaut can't drink it because she has her helmet on! With the spaceship lost, Maggie doesn't know how to get home. But with Major's telescope, Tiny and a froglet help Maggie by playing her a nice tune. With all the gifts in place, Mother uses the rocket to take Maggie home, flying past the Sky Moose, the Hoop Planet and the Iron Chicken in her nest, plus the cloud, until they find the rocket. Ma Maggie steps into the small rocket and is confused, but she gives Mother a present with a label with a heart on it. <coughs> when Mother returns, she reveals a deflated thing which turns out to be a blow-up planet Earth, which everybody plays catch with, like the Teletubbies do when they play with Lala's ball. Now, with the first Clangers adventure over, we are left to head back down to Earth and cross over into an alternate dimension named the Night Garden, where another high-flying adventure in the Pinkie Ponk Ends with Iggle Piggle, Upsy Daisy and the Tombly Boo showing love to Macapaca by giving him big hugs and kisses after a long day of trundling his og pog around the garden. Good night, tiny. Good night, small.